Hello everyone. Today will be part two in our discussion of the new rehab corridor tools available in Civil 3D. Today we're going to discuss adding widening to your corridor. So let's take a look. In the same corridor that I was in last week in part one, I'm going to select and go to edit rehab corridor. I selected right from the prospector. I'm going to pick a region, click pick a region. I only have one so it's easy. Now I just want to update you with the parameters that I currently have. I'm going to be looking at station 772 here. But notice my current rehab input parameters. If I go through my settings, I have an ideal cross slope of minus 2% with a slope tolerance of 0.2%. I'm going to be doing a mill and overlay only with a 1 inch mill and a 2 inch overlay. So let's close that and let's take a look at those results in the section view. So you can see I have my milling shape in dark magenta bolded and so my minimum one inch mill is down here near this side and of course I have more milling as I go across to the left. That's the critical point on this low right side. You could argue maybe that uh, I'm uh, looking too wide. Maybe I need to back up my milling a foot or so not to go past this point where you have a break. So this what's nice about these tools, I can see that quickly and make that adjustment. But let's leave it as is for now, it makes a nice visual. My overlay level, depth of two inches, you can see here is from the bottom of the mill up to the top. So there's my two inches all the way across. So notice the slope. I had a ideal slope of minus 2% and the computed slope was minus 2.2%. I'm going to go back into the rehab just to explore that a second. So I select the corridor here, edit corridor re rehab corridor, pick a region, and I'm going to go into the rehab manager. So for the right side, I'm going to turn off the left here so I can only see the right. At 772, my ideal slope was minus 2, that was my setting, but the computed slope of the existing ground at that point was minus 2.4. With a 0.2% slope tolerance that takes my corrected slope to minus 2.2. So it's going to stay within 0.2% of the EG computed slope. So that's where that comes from. And we have a nice report here to find those exact numbers that I'm looking for. So I'll close that and close the rehab tools. So now I'd like to add a widening. I want to use that slope that I computed and corrected for, which was within 0.2% of the existing ground. So let's jump over to this assembly that it created automatically for me. I'm going to zoom to it. It's called Rehab 3. And I want to add a widening out, and I want to use that computed slope. So we're going to go to my tool palettes, just as always, and I'm going to use the Lane Super AOR for this widening. I'm going to pick here. And I'll hit escape and I'll close the dialog. So of course I don't need anything this wide so I'm just going to select and go to subassembly properties and make some edits. So for the width we're just going to widen four feet. Default slope is minus two that's fine. We'll do one inch pave one and two and for my uh, base depth we'll set that to zero. Oh no let's just set that to six inches that'll be fine. And then for my sub base we'll set that to zero. Okay, and we'll hit OK. So you can see that adjusts, so I'm assuming a saw cut line here with a four foot widening on the end. But for now, the slope is set to minus two, so I'd like to use the slope that it computes, which in this case is a minus 2.2% per slope, slope, to set the slope of my widening. So to do that, I'm going to select the assembly, go to assembly properties. Go to construction and we're going to find the lane super elevation AOR. So that's my widening. So for this trick to work, we just need to make sure the lane is underneath the overlay and mill. And what we're using here is output parameters. Many of you are familiar with that. But we're basically passing a computed slope over to the widening. So for the default slope, I'm going to say use a parameter reference. And I'm going to grab that value from one of these 
computed slopes from the overlay mill. So notice on the right side I have the corrected cross slope, the EG slope, or the outside lane offset. So this is really nice. If I wanted to actually use the EG slope directly, whatever that computed, that minus 2.4, I could do that. It passes that value. But I actually want the corrected to whatever the lane's going to be on the milling area. So I'm going to pick corrected cross slope. We'll hit apply and OK. And we're going to right click on our corridor and hit rebuild. There we go. And now we'll take a look back at our sections and let's see what happened. As you can see here that I have my computed slope of my minus 2.2, which is corrected based on the computed existing ground within a 0.2 tolerance of my ideal slope. And then I have my widening. And you can see the slope there is a minus 2.2%. So here we can take advantage and add elements to our assembly and we could continue to add and we could use any of those reference slopes or widths as you saw available in the output parameters. So the goal here was to show how we could use what we learned in our overview video and add a widening to our rehab corridor. I hope this has been beneficial. Have a great day.